done that with 76% last week. We'll see how he does today. And on first down, his pass is batted down. So Indiana's linemen get a hand on the ball. And it looks like Ralph Green, who did not play a week ago, got his hand on the ball. And second and 10 now for FIU. When you try to rush the passer, and if you can't get there, it's 11 plays, 56 yards there on the board. But FIU first and 10 at their own 25. Both teams trying to establish the run. Just inside zone to the right. Two backs in the backfield behind Magoo. And Indiana has held on third down. That's a good stop by Darius defense last week. It's those third down stops that create confidence and give you confidence as a defense. It was close. Yeah, you saw those numbers. He said he really loves this team on and off the field as a very good coaching staff on first down and 10. That's Gardner the carry. Out to the 27 yard line. For assistance. So both have followed dad into his profession. Magoo. And the ball is tipped. Again, good pressure by Ralph Green and Darius Latham. And you and you're gonna see the deflection here. Get your arms up in the air. If you can't get to the quarterback, get your arms up. Good job, in Indiana. And getting back to Coach Turner on his assistance leaving, that's not indicative. Three wide receivers to the near side. On second down for FIU. Magoo, the run, has the first down inside the 20. That was a good play by Alex Magoo. That was not a designed quarterback draw. Here to Bloomington and win. He was 5-3 and three against the Hoosiers as the head coach of the Illinois Fighting Illini. So his starting quarterback go down on a pass play where five yards the other way. Here's Ralph Green, number 93, getting that big paw up again. They've had a number of those. For the Hilltoppers, opening drive of the ball game, Dowdy. And the pass is batted down. Furby goes in motion. Dowdy, hit as he throws. Has it to Norris. Norris makes a move and gets close to the first down. A little bit shy, just inside the 25-yard line. Eight of nine, you got to go for it here, well, right? Yeah, nice catch by Norris underneath. He breaks that initial tackle. And he gets it to where he almost picks up the first down. Dowdy took a big hit on that play by a blitzing linebacker. Was able to still get the pass off. Good job by him. Gray Furby, the redshirt freshman from Nashville, Tennessee. Well, they give it to him here on first down, deep in their own territory, and is not getting much. Good job by the front for Indiana there on the tackle. Ryan Watercutter. Pass for Dowdy to move the chains. First and 10 carry goes to Furby. Couple yards off to the left side. How about the offensive line? For Furby makes one man miss, but not the second. Marcus Oliver got him the second time around, got some help. And it's gonna be Kentucky's all time leader in passing yards. And there it is right there to Higby. Just before the 10 yard line, it's a first down catch. Chase Dutra on the tackle for the spot gave him enough for the first across the 37 yard line. So a fresh set of downs. And now Dowdy back to work and has danger field again. And a first down catch into Indiana territory. It's second down. They can get a first at the one. Or Furby could go in for the touchdown like he does for the second time this afternoon. <laughs> I love it right there. A little old power eye there off to the left side. And you have a 240-pound back, lower that shoulder. Big offensive line firing off. Get by the true freshman for a nice pickup. 16 yards on the pickup. Downey again. And once again, Taylor and slipping down into Indiana territory at the 37-yard line. And why not? Just And they did it on that last play. See if they go to Furby here, second and goal from the 10. They do. DeAndre Furby with a hole off the left side. It spins inside the five-yard line. Setting up third and goal. Ray, do they go that direction? I formation. Furby, they do. Furby, touchdown from the far official. The near one said no. They're going to go with no, and Indiana has stopped them. 
Wow. Yeah, and they're going to talk about it as well. TV timeout, so the replay booth will have time to look at this. Well, yes, it is. As the season progresses. Second down for Western Kentucky. And they go with a draw play, and that's unlike them, it seems like, in this situation here in second. Okay, for an arm. Furby off the left side. And DeAndre Furby is going to run for the first down. And he's been a welcome sight for this group that is with that. Kentucky is they do need to run the ball, no doubt. And Furby is doing it so far in this game. It's exactly what they needed. Back to Furby again and rumbles for about three. A nice pickup. Tight end Higby in motion. Helping the block on that left side for Furby. But I think it helped me. Third down, Dowdy to Higby. And he's going to be stopped just shy on the tackle made by Chase Dutra. For them, and of course, a field goal makes it a one-possession game. They are a yard shy of the first down. Passing leader in Western Kentucky history as a third and four from his own 30. Dowdy finds his target, the tight end, Higby. And he's been a big target for him this season. And a flag is down back in the 20-yard line. Down to Higby. Anyway, you know, they try to make Dowdy uncomfortable off his spot. He get, takes the hit, but he still completes the pass to Higby, who hooked up in the middle and just slid to the side. And clearly a late hit. Good call. There was two flags on the play. Both officials saw it. The referee... And the umpire as well. And down and 10 inside the red zone of the Hilltoppers. Dowdy with time. Has it again over to Taylor. First and goal from the three. Dowdy hands to Davis, and he is met right at the line. Darius Latham on the tackle, and Ralph Green for Indiana. Latham, Ralph Green, good push up there by that defensive front. That's what you want to do, get penetration, meet the back in the backfield. 